There's nothing in here. Maybe you've noticed the trend on YouTube too. I've spoken about it before. But there is like an epidemic or pandemic. Maybe that's not okay. Maybe just epidemic. Epidemic of videos on Christian YouTube, right? The Christian YouTube circles about modesty. It is an astounding amount. You would think, you, like, uh, the based on the amount of videos here, it's like with mind blowing, right? You, you, I, I want you to do a little experiment here. Search into YouTube Christian modesty, and you will be just like flooded, okay, with all these videos on modesty. Now, I don't want you to get get it wrong here or get it twisted. I'm not some guy coming in here like, you know, the white knight like. God, don't talk about women's modesty. They can wear whatever they want and nobody should have anything to do with it. That's not my take at all. Okay, number one, I think modesty is important. But what I think guys need to stop doing is obsessing so much about what girls wear or their modesty. Tons of these videos are guys, you know, and I think they have good, you know, like I made videos about modesty too, right? But my, my take is always like, guys, we need to reframe this conversation. So often the conversation of modesty is framed around, um, you know, how the person dresses in context to the opposite sex when it actually should be, how do I, how am I dressing in context to my relationship with God? Like, how does that reflect God? How would God want me to dress? How can I best honor God as opposed to thinking completely about the opposite gender and not making people stumble and all, all that where the conversation usually sits in. But the bigger thing is here, and part of the reason that I think we should cool it, at least as Christian guys, on the modesty talk and passing blame on lust and all that kind of thing is because there is a, there's a real epidemic of people that are addicted to pornography. And it is astounding. Like, guys, you don't, if you, like, you got to look at the numbers to really be able to get a grasp on this. But it's like 80, 90% of Christian guys are looking at pornography on a consistent basis. And maybe that's not a surprise to you. But when I heard that, it just kind of reaffirmed in my mind that we have bigger fish to fry. And don't get me wrong. I think modesty is important. I think we can have that conversation. But... Before you, as a, as a guy, you're like, you know, you're thinking, oh man, it's so hard. Like all these girls are just not wearing enough clothes and it's tough for me to, you know, stay pure in my heart, all that kind of thing. And yet you go home and you look at pornography, bro, that's on you. Like that's, that's on you to, to, uh, to deal with that in your own life before you start passing the blame to somebody else. And I realize this is not just an issue for guys too. A significant amount of women still like struggle with pornography. So I want to completely acknowledge it and say, Hey guys, like we got to be not so, um, not so quick to pass the blame. Um, but we got to be able to acknowledge where we're struggling in our own lives. And I don't say that to say like, hit you over the head with a baseball bat. Like, okay, you're a piece of trash. Cause you're, you're watching this stuff. I think it's bad. I think it's sinful. Um, but I also think it's important that we understand the different um, causes that lead us to that point. It's not just lust. It's also like lies that guys are believing and girls are believing that this will give me uh, connection or this will cure my loneliness or this will make me feel, um, you know, a sense of intimacy or this will give me a sense of wholeness or peace or escape like all these things that porn is promising and it never delivers as it as it promised and i think it's just it's tragic it's absolutely tragic i guess i just want to say like let us as each individual um hone in on what what we're dealing with in context to our relationship with god as opposed to um, trying to either pass the blame on other people or, or thinking a lot more about what other people, you know, their perspective of it, or what are they dressing or they're leading me down this path or all that kind of thing. Um, start thinking about it in terms of our relationship with God, because that's both the case in pornography and modesty. It's like, if you want to dress modestly, you should be thinking not like, oh man, how did, should, you know, would Devin want me to <laughs> dress or whatever? Like you want to say, how would God want me to dress? Like that's cause that's who you're dressing for in terms of pornography. It's not like, oh man, they're leading me down this path. Cause they're not doing their part and, and they're not being a good Christian. And that's tough on me. And that's why I got to go to this place. No, it's like, 
you know what? I can't control other people, but I can, I can hone into how I can serve God. And this is an issue that I need to deal with personally. And, and we're going to go ham on it because we're not going to let it destroy us because I got news for you. If you're dabbling in pornography, it will destroy you. It will. And I've seen so many people's comments, like on some of the stuff I'm posting, they're like, no dog, like it's no big deal. <laughs> like I, like, I, you know, I don't have any of those. Um, like I talked about, you know, sometimes when people get in pornography, they experience just like, you know, loneliness, depression, anxiety, all these kind of things. And, and this guy's like, Oh, I don't experience any of that. Actually, I feel good about it. And I feel all that. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But those, those kind of mechanisms that like the guilt and the shame and the anxiety and the depression that come from constant porn use, usage, that's just kind of a mechanism to say something ain't right here. And if you've lost that, that, that just means that you've been kind of desensitized to the point where you're not experiencing that anymore. It's still wrong. You still got to break free. But I'm so, man, I'm just like brokenhearted over the fact that we're here. But also I would like us to focus on more on as like a community of Christian content creators. And I think we're doing a great job at this recently for a while. It was just like, as I was saying, like modesty content and that kind of thing in terms of like the purity conversation. But now we're talking about the biggest issue of our day, which is pornography. And I think that's great. And I think that's important. And let's continue on that conversation. And when questions of modesty come up, yeah, let's have those conversations too. But let's not get it twisted and start passing the blame onto other people when it's actually our own hearts that we got to start with. Anyway, that's all I had to say today. I know that's kind of a rant. Um, and <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's all I got. I appreciate you guys who support me, who like, comment, and subscribe, and support me on Patreon. Thank you guys. It means the world to me. And I'll keep putting out videos. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. God bless.